Oh shit! What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose! Uh, okay. My hot dog's dead. Your hot dog's dead. My pizza's dead. My milkshake is dead. My donut's dead. My pretzel's dead. My donut is dead. Okay. <laughs> That's an Adventure Time song. Oh. <laughs> Do you remember the episode where they go inside the, the pig monster and there are all those little bears inside of him? No. And they don't realize that they're going to die if they stay in there because and they're having a rave. <laughs> oh. No. So Finn and Jake, in order to, the, no matter what they say, the bears just will not listen to them. It's like, you, the, the monster's about to eat some lava from a volcano. Mm -hmm. You guys are going to die. And they're like, oh, whatever. We're, we're just partying, man. So they get on stage and Finn and Jake sing, My hot dog's dead. My pizza's dead. What? <laughs> and, and then all the bears get sad. Oh, and then they leave? <laughs> The, the, what there, I was gonna, there were more bananas, right? Uh, I thought. I wait. Hold on. It, they were by Cranky's place. By I, Cranky's. Yeah, I know that you were staring at Cranky's when we saw those bananas, and we were like, "What?" Like, there's some coins there. Cranky's is really close. Yeah, it's like right there. Okay, so. Okay, so we got these ones. Then. Maybe left. I think there's some to the left. Hold on, let me double check that there aren't any on top. Running out of crystals, boy. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, well maybe we got all these. There. Wait to the right. I got a swan weed. Alright, well. Hmm. We'll keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> like we keep our bananas peeled? I just put it in a lap track. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I guess. Avengers. It's time to talk about Avengers. No spoilers. No Don't spoilers, worry. I promise. It's, uh. Honestly, like, after seeing the movie, yeah, talking about anything in the plot, really, mm -hmm. is pretty much a spoiler. Mm -hmm. They they were so secretive with the commercials. When you really? finally see the movie, you're like, good. wow, they didn't show any of this in the commercials. That's Holy good, crap. though. Yeah, no, it's the, the Russo brothers, actually, I, was, I watched a bunch of videos with them. They said that they, because nowadays, so many commercials and trailers just reveal, like, yeah, the dude, entire plot to a hand. movie. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like that at all. They 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 were talking about how yeah when we were kids like back in the eighties and nineties we we just remember how little information we had so everything was a special surprise when how we finally, old are they? I mean they're probably like in their forties or fifties actually. When they were kids in the eighties and nineties, seventies, whatever. Whenever they were kids. Oh okay, I was before like, you what? before YouTube before YouTube. Yeah okay okay. <laughs> um, before YouTube. So two thousand and four. So with this movie, they they wanted to kind of repl replicate that feeling for the audience, and I think I think they did. They they were successful with that. They good. Those commercials Is that don't. The... No, it's not. We we've already gone in there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Endgame. I okay. My answer is really weird. Mhm. Mm I don't have a de definitive answer on whether I like it or not. Really? Yeah. I. I I'm still processing it. I think Is this I the beginning of the level? Uh, yeah, we've we've gone through there. Shit. Yeah, this is what happens when you play friggin' Donkey Kong 64 and wait two weeks to play it again. Yeah. You get lost. Uh-oh. Uh, I think maybe we should start at the very top of the castle. Okay. That's a good call. Because I know we've combed almost everything on the lower levels, if I'm not wrong. But yeah, okay. I will say this. Um, the last half hour of the movie is fucking amazing yeah oh my god they do something like you saw it with your dad right yep i saw it with my padre did he agree did he think it was awesome yeah he thought it was he thought it was pretty he's good he's been claimed right uh yes he's all white uh so yeah the, the last half hour is the best part holy crap there's fan service there are some amazing moments that are like <gasps> where like my jaw hit the floor uh japanese fan service <laughs> <laughs> not that kind oh, okay uh <laughs> The the guy sit, there was a guy sitting to my left. He was a, a little bit more vocal. He was he was kind of oh, yeah? like me in movies where it's when something happens he goes like oh like he wasn't super loud but uh -huh. I could definitely hear him. Uh -huh. He was reacting like I did to all the stuff. I could hear him sniffling next to me because there were a lot of teary moments throughout the movie. Some people there on Twitter the day after I saw it uh -huh. I saw this guy post a clip from Rick and Morty. Yeah. And he said, this was me when I got in the car after I saw Endgame. It shows Rick and Morty, they get in their spaceship, they look all fucked up, and they're like, oh my god! <laughs> Why did we do this, Rick? I, I don't know, Morty, I, maybe oh, I hate myself. Oh shit, Whoa. what the what fuck? The, what? Wow. 
Okay. <laughs> that, that was smooth. Nice. What the hell just happened, dog? I mean, so I I didn't react to the movie like that. It didn't like scar me emotionally or anything. But scar you. It was definitely, I definitely teared up a few times throughout. There were happy tears, there were bittersweet tears, and there were sad tears. Uh, but I think it's a good ending to the current saga. The current saga? Yep, they're, after the new Spider-Man movie, the Infinity Saga will be complete, and then they'll move on oh, to the yeah. next one. Okay. Yeah, so, I think I gotta see the movie again before I say whether I loved it or not. You loved it or not? Yeah, because cause I can say it was a good movie, but I think I liked Infinity War better. Ah. Yeah. All I, right. I don't know if you'd like Endgame or not. Oh. I I mean, do you think you'll ever see it? Yeah. I was actually, uh, the reason I asked you if you saw it yesterday is because I was looking for tickets this morning because it's so god dang hyped, and I'm trying not to spoil it. And You're I'm like, hyped? No. I, like... Uh, yes and no. I'm not super hyped. I just everyone else is so hyped. Yeah, I guess yeah. a little bit has rubbed off on me, and I'm like, ah, all right. Let me see if this shit's worth the hype. <laughs> so I mean, you know, I, I pay for a monthly like movie service, so I'm like, oh, no, yeah, no sweat yeah. off my back. There have been zero movies I've been wanting to see lately, um, but John Wick Three is coming out soon, and I am stoked to oh, my see dad. John Wick Three. Yeah, my dad's excited to see. Oh, that. he likes that movie. Those movies? Yes, he does. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Okay, well, cool. So you might go see Endgame? Maybe, yeah. Honestly, mm -hmm. I, I, I I, only saw Infinity War once in theaters, and I I thought of seeing it again, but then I was like, nah, it was a special experience. I'd, I'd rather have, have it. Here? No, I don't think we have. We better go in there. Okay. I, I chose not to see it again to preserve, you know, the original experience. Uh-huh. If you know what I mean. But uh, nope. I do... I, <laughs> I would like to see Endgame again in theaters, so if you're up for it, I'm up for it. All right, cool. Well, I'll probably wait a week or so until, like, tickets are a little bit better. Yeah, totally. Because everything I found was, like, I can get tickets if I want to sit in the front two rows or, like, the very edge of a giant theater, and I'm like, nah. Oh, my God, dude. We Have you ever been to the theater with Jen and I that we like to go to? No, I've never been to a movie with you before. What? I mean, you and I, we're going to go see Detective Pikachu in a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. For, wait, a couple weeks? That's when it comes out? Yeah, it comes out on May 15th or 10th. Oh, yeah, May 10th. Snap, dude. All right. Yeah, yeah dude. I want to see that movie. So, um, but yeah, aside from that. John Wick, that, and um, the Avengers movie. Yeah. And again, like, yeah, I, I think you just put out the clip um, of me <laughs> crapping on Avengers <laughs> and stuff. That was before I watched Infinity War. Um, Infinity War was better than the first one. I, I agree. Like, and don't get me wrong, it's not my favorite movie ever, but I, I liked the movie. Really? You thought, yeah. I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, 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 I, I liked it. It was okay. It wasn't, like, fantastic. It wasn't, like, my favorite movie ever. I don't think it deserved, like, the hype it had, but I do think it was a good movie. What the crap? All right. Okay, maybe that door is the door you come out of. Yeah, probably. Like, I thought it was a good movie. Um, hmm. okay, I just then. didn't think it was, like... Phenomenal. Yeah, worth, like all the praise and existence of the universe mm. yeah um okay right, i like the production quality of that film though it felt like three movies in one or so oh my god yeah the, this new one endgame it's a three hour and one yeah. minute long movie two minutes it's 182 minute runtime i think oh i thought it was 181 but <laughs> okay whatever what one else? of those two <laughs> I, I felt like I was in the theater watching Return of the King again. <laughs> oh, wait. Did you see that in theaters? I, I saw Return of the King in theaters, and Dang. but that movie is even longer. That one's three and a half hours. It is? Yeah, whereas this was only three hours, but it's still pretty close. I guess I don't know, because I only own the extended editions, which are like uh, four and a half hours. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, totally. like... It's almost just like watching several HBO episodes in yeah. a row. <laughs> yeah, it is. It, yeah, Lord of the Rings kind of feels like the OG Game of Thrones. Yeah, totally. Like, it, in terms of the um, the film. Not, yeah, I'm yeah. not talking about the books. Just the... Because it's like the the classic sword and shield yep. fantasy big army battle yeah. with dragon medieval time. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, let's see. Anything, anything else to share about the movie? Uh, I really no. can't say much. Well, if, if you want to <gasps> see it again... Cheeto! Holy oh. shit! Yes, if I you want to see it again, um, I'll try and make sure we can all get tickets at the theater we go to. Because if you've never been to the theater I go to, I don't know if you'll ever want to go to another theater again. Okay. It's so sick, dude. 
It's 21 and up, right? Yeah, it's 21 and up. So, like, there's no kids, mm -hmm. which is great. <laughs> um, like, I like kids, but not in the movie theater. <laughs> no, screw that. Um, you can, uh, it has a full bar, so if you want to get drinks and stuff. Although, I, I don't, because, like, if I drink, I'm probably going to have to piss, like, a shit ton. So mm -hmm. I don't, don't want to do that. Okay, yeah, the struggle was real with... Did you get soda? I No, I didn't. I, I got nothing. But I made <laughs> sure... But when we when we went into the theater, uh -huh. uh, I made sure... I was like, okay, I don't really feel like I have to go to the bathroom, but I'm going to force myself to go anyways. Not done. Okay, so we're missing ten normal bananas and... One golden for tiny. Okay. Dang, we're going to have to do some combing. We could, Yeah, we could look it up. Yeah. Like we did on Crystal Caves. Yeah. I'll Here, do that. finish the story first, though. Um. So I, I had I had to force myself to go into the bathroom, and it, it it was a bit of a forced poop. But you know what? I I I refuse to. I regret nothing. I regret nothing. I could I could hear trailers, the trailer for the new Lion King playing from the theater next door yeah. while I was in there. It was like as I was pooping, I heard. Don't you not like going to the bathroom, like taking shits in public restrooms? Uh, taking poops in public restrooms is fine, generally oh. fine for me. Oh, okay. It's it's going at the urinals that I can't do um, it. It's it's impossible. Dude, I heard someone else was talking about that recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Who, oh, yeah, it was the H3 podcast, and I think he was talking to Gus Anderson. He was, um, like, a YouTube comedian. And, uh, yeah, he was saying that, like, he can poop in public fine, but he can't piss. Like, it's really weird for him, I guess. Yeah, it's because there's no walls around you, and you're just so vulnerable. And just, Dude, I, I told the story on Goobs about how I was taking a shit in front of other people. Web. You remember that? <laughs> I told that, right? Because there's no walls around you and you're just so vulnerable. <laughs> thank, thank you, Google. Sounds like the chorus of like a... Because a... there's no walls around you and you're just so vulnerable. <laughs> that sounds like a Britney Spears or something song. Well, I think it's because you sound... Yeah, you made it sound like Britney Spears. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, you were saying... Uh... Oh, I, nothing. I was just sidebarring that, uh, yeah, I, I told you how I had to take a shit, mm -hmm. like, in front of a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. I, I haven't forgotten that story. There's Diddy's bananas. God dang it. God, we friggin' walked right past them. Mother farter! There oh. they are. Okay, okay. Well, that's good. That's good. We finally found them. That's good. good. Okay, so DK64, Creepy Castle, Tiny Bananas. So, actually, I think we can use Diddy to break those open. We either need Chunky or Diddy. With his chimpy charge? Yeah. Okay. But they remind me of the walls in the first Jungle Japes. Nope. Okay. Nope. Those are Chunky only. All right. Uh, so all we need is one of Tiny's golden bananas. Yeah. Wow. We're... I'm, yeah. I'm really glad. We... I th I, yeah, I think I said at the end of last episode, I was like, I think we're actually closer to the end than... Than we realized. Yeah. Yeah, you were right. Yeah. Okay. DK, Diddy, Tiny. Okay. Jump and glide from each skeleton hand under the castle. Yeah, we castle. did that. Again under the castle, glide to the bonus barrel. The bonus barrel? I don't think we did that. Hmm. Read the other ones. Inside the ballroom, we use the tiny pad to teleport to the top, racing game. We did Number that. Number four, find the silo outside the castle and we shrink down, beat all the flies. There's a Wait, ledge. beat all the flies. Yeah, yeah, we did it. It was okay. like one of the first things we did. There's a ledge in the crypt area where the purple crusha waits for tiny. Well, I think it's the gliding to the bonus barrel one, so... So we have to go back to the hands. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Which is right next to us, I think, right? I, I think it's it's right oh, by you're... Candy, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So, yeah, it might be just outside the, okay. just outside the door. All right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else from my, from my movie-going experience with Endgame I can share. Uh, hmm. Oh, uh, I was talking about that theater. Yeah, if you guys are 21 plus, definitely check out a 21 plus theater. They're, they're the shit. So, oh yeah, you can buy like, you can get like burgers and wings and all that kind mm. of stuff. They bring it to your seat. Yeah, um, dude. My favorite part, as someone who like has to pee a lot if I drink anything, um, and just in general, like there's a huge walkway in front of all of the seats. So if you had to leave, you don't inconvenience anyone else. I think it's at the other end of the path um, that you're on. You don't inconvenience anyone else. Like, you know if you're sitting in the middle of a row and you have to get up, you have to be like, yeah, excuse yeah. me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Like, that's so crappy. Uh, when I saw Django Unchained, I remember, like, I drank a bunch of soda and I had to pee three times towards the end of the movie. The first <laughs> time I got up, inconvenienced everyone else, and then I was like, 
and I feel like I'm gonna have to pee again soon. So I just like went and sat in the front of the theater by myself. All oh. my friends were like, "What the hell?" No. Oh, there it is. Draw distance. <laughs> you bad bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Zubat. All right, next time we'll be at that barrel. Bye. <sighs> Fuck.